Yeah. It's reasonable. Good dog. Yeah, that's right. You will call me Nathan when I demand it. About celestial navigation. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you get a straight line for a well, sextant? Well, you haven't responded to my request. My request is where you get a straight line for a sextant. You made an hour presentation for my compadres on Ballbusters. Now I'm asking you a straight question about your straight line for a sextant on a sphere. Where'd you get it? Well, you won't leave your echo chamber. Where'd you get a straight line for a sextant, considering you've got sphere-shaped air? I'm at the start of your show. Would that be good? About the sextant and its straight line and where you get it on a sphere. Third time asking. Oh. When would you like me to come on the show, Nathan? You're here now. Where'd you get a straight line for a sextant in atmosphere? You put you put the time you want to talk with me. Bob. So where'd you get a straight line for a sextant on a globe? When would you like to talk about that? Where would you get a straight line considering that there's always atmosphere for a sextant? Go. When would you like to schedule the talk? No! Where'd you get a straight line when you've got atmosphere on a globe? Choice is any day this week for you. So you can't tell me now where you get a straight line from, coward? No, I got things to do. Nah, what do you want? Hey, dude, how you doing? Hey, I wanted to make head. arrangements. Hey, Slaphead. How are you doing, Slaphead? Talk about... Hey, Slaphead. How are you doing? Learn a little How bit about... How are you doing, Slaphead? Slap We're not going to get acquainted with these names. You call me dude, I'll call you Slaphead. How about that? Hey, we got Slappy and Slaphead. Slaphead so, hey, is which... you. You are Slaphead. If you're going to call me dude, I'll call you Slaphead. Or you can call me Nathan. I think we're reasonably well acquainted. All right, Nathan. You can call Excellent me Excellent work. Good dog. I'm in. Good and dog. Yeah, that's right. You meet my demands immediately, like the good subservient little bitch you're going to be while you're here. It's reasonable. Good dog. Yeah, that's right. You will call me Nathan when I demand it. About celestial navigation. Yeah, yeah. You already made clear you're in your subservient little position, Bob. So where'd you get a straight line for a sextant on a globe? When would you like to talk about that? Because now, you only have a few. Are you fucking thick? Where would you get a straight line considering that there's always atmosphere for a sextant? Go. When would you like to schedule the talk? Now, you dumb shit, you're talking to me. Are you retarded? You're having the conversation with me now. Where'd you get a straight line for a sextant considering you've got sphere-shaped air? I'm at the start of your show. Would that be good? We're talking now, Dumbo. Is nine o'clock tomorrow morning. We're talking right now. I'm good for you. So you can't tell me now where you get a straight line from, coward? No, I got things to do. You've got things to do, but you're here talking to me, just not answering a simple question. Where'd you get a straight line for a well, sextant? Well, you haven't responded to my request. My request is where you get a straight line for a sextant. You made an hour presentation for my compadres on Ballbusters. Now I'm asking you a straight question about your straight line for a sextant on a sphere. Where'd you get it? Well, you won't leave your echo chamber, so I had to... Sorry, is this going to be about my echo chamber, about the sextant and its straight line and where you get it on a sphere? Third time asking. Oh. When would you like me to come on the show, Nathan? You're here now. Are you thick? You're literally on the show now. You're asking me when I want you to come on. You're here now. Where'd you get a straight line when you've got atmosphere on a globe? Choices any day this week at the uh, 30... My choice is I'm talking to you now. I'm going to repeat my question for the fourth time. Where'd you get a straight line for a sextant in atmosphere? You put, you put the time you want to talk with me in the... Now, that's my time. I'm asking you for the fifth time where you get a straight line for a sextant on a sphere considering you've got atmosphere, coward. Does he run? Does he run away? Of course he ran. Of course he ran. Yo, bitches on the globe side. This... Go on, whoever that was. I don't know why. I don't know why he thinks this needs to be an appointment. It's going to end real quick. He could Doctor just Bob. stay on now. Because he's Dr. Bob. And he thinks I should schedule with him when the subservient little bitch immediately met my demand to call me what I told him to call me. Yeah. Then he thinks he's going to be getting me to make an appointment with him. You've come to me, bitch. You're already here. Getting a teabagging with one question about where the hell you get a straight line from. And what did I get as a response? It's an echo chamber. Oh, right. So you're not a glober debating with me right now. No, I'm here to make an appointment. Yeah, the appointment's now. It's a live show, Dumbo. And you didn't answer my question. Where you get a straight line from an atmosphere. Now, did you, coward? Yeah, that was how Bob got on with me.
No hour-long presentation required. Where'd you get a straight line in atmosphere? Um, I need to make an appointment. This is an echo chamber. Well done, Bob. Good job. Good dog. By the, by the way, for future people, all appointments are the show starts 9 a.m. Eastern time. Just pop on. Show's live now. Don't be a cornball and come here and ask for an appointment. If you're here, you're here. Cornball. Exactly. Fucking idiot. Nice distraction. I'm sure everybody watching thought, wow, yeah, it was totally reasonable when they're talking to him to ask for an appointment when asked where he gets a straight line on a globe in atmosphere. Perfectly reasonable response to ask for an appointment or claim the host has got an echo chamber when it's literally him there on the globe side, anti-flat earth in reality, arguing with me on the flat earth side. But yet, is he actually going to answer a question about an hour-long presentation he made? Or is he going to try and make an appointment for a later date? He could have just given me the answer there and then, right? You'd think it would be simple. You'd think with a globe belief, he'd have all the truth in the world behind him to just slap me about with the truth about where he gets a straight line from. Right, Bob? No, no, I think we need to make an appointment. Yeah, okay, this time tomorrow. I'm here daily, dickhead. Anytime you want to come back and tell me where you get a straight line in atmospheres, fish shaped air, I'll be here to listen to your answer. Yeah, Bob, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'll have one in a hurry, right? Maybe you'll make a really long video about me having come and asked me for my attention on my show and then tried to get me to make an appointment with you. Nah. No, I don't need an appointment with a quack. I'm good, thanks. I do need to know where you get a straight line from on a sphere-shaped air-based globe. That's what I need to know. That's precisely what I asked you five times. Didn't you hear me? Bonacci wants to have you on his podcast. And I was like, what am I going to add to, like, you know, what am I going to say? I'm, I would ask you the questions, you know what I mean? I don't know shit. You know, I listen to guys like you, David Weiss, Eric Dubé, uh, you know, Nathan Oakley is f my fucking favorite right now. I love Nathan Oakley. Yeah, me too. He demolishes Absolutely. people. Absolutely. Oh, man. Nathan Oakley, 1980. Follow his, uh, he does Flat Earth Debates every day, mm. live, live streams, Flat Earth yeah. Debates. Anybody could get on and, uh, you know, and, and debate him, and he just demolishes everybody. I, I, there's so many good guys out there, so when they asked me, you know... Uh,